Trucking accident? Get paid. Get the money you deserve. Call attorney Tristan Jagroup, founder of the Jagroup Law Office, the Bay Area's number one rated motor vehicle personal injury attorney. Diesel trucks, cars, motorcycles? Call 510-556-4013. J-A-G-R-O-O-P law.com. The Oakland A's play the Baltimore Orioles in their 2022 home opener on Monday, April 18th. Visit kcbsradio.com slash contest for your chance to win a four-pack of tickets. We're going to check back with Kim Wunderley. She's in your local Honda dealer's traffic center. The crashes are coming in. We start in Marin. Yeah, it's been plenty busy here. So Marin, Central Marin, is affected by this crash. Southbound 101 is right before North San Pedro's uh, third lane from the left has been blocked here. And Holly, the backup now is stretching into Novato. There's been sluggish traffic coming down from Highway 37, but by the time you get a little south of Ignacio, then it becomes uh, really frustrating. It's mostly stop and go down to the scene by the Civic Center. Also, we have had some problems on the Nimitz Freeway. In fact, two crashes, one right after another, North 880 near Winton. That one just cleared a new crash. Northbound 880 near Highway 92 is clearing from the second from left lane. So we have heavy traffic from at least Whipple as you come out of Union City. The southbound side is slow too. Westbound 92, that mid-span San Mateo Bridge, there was a report of some garbage across lanes. Not sure if that is cleared yet. We do see slow traffic from Hesperian getting onto the span. Stays kind of sluggish on again, off again as you make your way toward the Foster City side. South 101, possible car fire off the side near Highway 92. That has been slowing traffic as well. In San Francisco, no, uh, northbound 101, Cesar Chavez, they quickly cleared that crash off to the shoulder. And this much earlier incident in Benicia still has traffic slow. This was southbound 680 past Lake Herman, a long-standing big rig crash still off to the shoulder. I'm still seeing a couple miles, mostly stop-and-go traffic here. Your next update, 748 on the traffic leader, KCBS. Breezy conditions still in the forecast, but nothing like we uh, experienced yesterday. Otherwise, mostly sunny and cool today with highs from the mid-50s to low 60s. Tonight, mostly clear with uh, lows back down in the mid-30s and 40s. Going to have clouds uh, rolling back in tomorrow. Highs in the 60s, slight chance of rain in the evening, increasing after midnight. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on All News 106.9 and AM 740 KCBS. This portion of the news sponsored by Fetzer Vineyards. As a B Corporation, Fetzer Wines has the responsibility to do better. So Fetzer Wine will plant a tree for every bottle sold. That's right, one bottle, one tree. Here's to tomorrow. You'll find Fetzer at Safeway, Rite Aid, Rayleigh's, or Safe Mart. Please drink responsibly. Fetzer Vineyards, Hopland, Mendocino County, California. You may not know it, but the equity in your home can provide you with cash when you need it most. Whether you're looking to consolidate debt or cover a major renovation, a home equity line of credit or cash out refinance from Fremont Bank may be a great choice for you. With increased home values, now may be the right time to give us a call to find out how your home's equity can work for you. Visit FremontBank.com or call 866-992-INFO today. NMLS number 478471, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Elton John. Farewell, Yellow Brick Road, the final tour.
much the same, but at Fisher Investments, we're clearly different. Different? How? You sell high commission investment products, right? No. Fisher Investments doesn't sell any commission-based investment products. Well, you must earn commissions on trades. Nope. Never at Fisher. We're a fiduciary obligated to act in our client's best interest. It's the highest standard of care for a financial advisor. How do you know what's in their best interest? We get to know our clients and then tailor a portfolio based on their goals and needs. But you probably sneak in some hidden and layered fees. No. We have one transparent management fee, structured so we do better when our clients do better. Wow, you really do look out for your clients. That's because our top priority is helping them achieve a comfortable retirement. It might be why most of our clients come from other money managers. Visit FisherInvestments.com to find out why investors like you switch to us. Fisher Investments. Clearly different money management. Investments and securities involve the risk of loss. CBS News Time 743. California's public school enrollment has fallen again for the second straight year. Latest numbers show the number of K-12 through students going below 6 million for the first time in 20 years. State numbers show 110,000 fewer students signed up statewide during last year than the year before. Meanwhile, total enrollment in six counties of the Bay Area showed second-year pandemic enrollment drops were significant. KCBS News Time 744, the sports line with Ted Ramey in 60 seconds. Beth Miller Rowe is the Bay Area's reverse mortgage specialist. With over 35 years' experience, Beth offers a variety of reverse mortgage programs such as FHA Insured Home Equity Conversion Mortgage and even Jumbo Reverse Mortgages. Whether you own your home outright or have a loan against it, a reverse mortgage may provide financial freedom to better enjoy your retirement years. Reverse mortgages have changed so much in the last 10 years. Now is the time to call Beth at the Reverse Mortgage Group at 925-969-0380. Beth is located here in the Bay Area, offering free consultations in a friendly, professional, no-pressure atmosphere. Call Beth at 925-969-0380 or go to callbeth.net. Borrower must pay property taxes, insurance, HOA dues, live in and maintain the home. NMLS 294774-1850-831612. Licensed under the Department of Business Oversight under CRMLA. Equal housing opportunity. Coming up on KCBS, San Francisco's DA is going after the San Diego law firm that's been using ADA violations to sue mom and pop businesses. KCBS is time 745. Ted Ramey staffing the Bay Area Chevy dealer sports desk and the painful post-mortem ahead for the Lakers. How do you go from winning the NBA championship to two years later not even making the playoffs? Yeah, there's a lot of questions right now as uh, the Lakers said goodbye to now former head coach Frank Vogel yesterday. Like you said, Eric, they won the championship in the pandemic-shortened 2020 season, and then followed it up with two very disappointing seasons this year, missing the playoffs. And the last two years have been marred by injury. Here's LeBron James. I respect uh, Frank as a coach, um, you know, as a man, and our, part, and our partnership that we've had over a few years. Here has been nothing but uh, just candid, great conversations, and uh, you know I got nothing but respect for him. That was before the official announcement on Vogel getting the axe was released, but LeBron was definitely aware of what was going on and seemed to indicate he knows exactly what his role is going forward. I think the front office is going to do whatever it takes to help this ball club become a better ball club from top to bottom. Asking in my opinion, not in my opinion, but at the end of the day, they're going to make the, the decisions that they feel is best for, for the franchise. And it's my job to make sure I'm ready um, at the start of the training camp and, and ready to lead the franchise and lead the team that's put on the floor, wherever that may be. Then we heard from Russell Westbrook, who was slightly down from his career numbers and was made enemy number one by the fan base. I just felt that I never was given a fair chance. It's tough to like prove myself again in the year after year after year, which is to me just unfair. There's really no reason I have to do that. Um, so when I first got here, um, I just felt that I never was given a fair chance um, just to be who I needed to be to be able to help this team. About Vogel than LeBron was for sure. Westbrook does have player option with the Lakers for next year, but did not indicate one way or another whether he would use it. Uh, he also took shots at the media over making up fabricated stories. When asked for specific examples, he did not provide one. The sports desk, Ted Ramey, KCBS. Thanks a lot. The KCBS uh, sports desk is sponsored by the Bay Area Chevy. Have you been a victim of childhood sexual abuse by a Catholic priest or clergy member, a teacher, or by a person involved with another community organization? 
Recently passed laws may now allow you to file a civil lawsuit, and you may be entitled to compensation. It doesn't matter how old you are or how long ago it happened, but time is limited to file a claim. You only have until December to file, so call 800-559-1677. That's 800-559-1677. Again, that's 800-559-1677 for a free confidential consultation. And now an important message from music superstar Willie Nelson. I've been fighting for legalization of the one thing that can bring comfort to millions. And of course, I'm talking about Skechers. Uh, can we stop the commercial? Willie, I don't think Skechers are illegal anywhere. Really? But they feel so good. No, nope. you can wear them anywhere, Willie. Well, pass the Skechers. Skechers Comfort feels so good because Skechers is the comfort technology company and has all the fits and features you need for ultimate comfort. Find Skechers at a Skechers store, Skechers.com, or wherever stylish footwear is sold. Your happiest spring starts with Lowe's because Spring Fest is happening now to help get you everything you need to celebrate the season. Come on into Lowe's and save on select appliances. Right now, you can get free basic install via rebate with purchase of select items $5.99 or more. We're celebrating spring with more fun and more savings. Create a season full of happiness at Lowe's. Home to any budget, home to any possibility. Excludes Connecticut and Rhode Island. Appliance offer restrictions and other fees may apply. See store for details while supplies last. Neuropathy pain? Call Dr. Robert Dees, D.C., 925-393-0100. So much for spring break light. We check your drive with Kim Wonderly. That's all changed, hasn't it? We're looking at South 101, Holly, trying to get through Marin. This is a really solid backup now because of that crash near the Civic Center. This report is brought to you by Floorcraft Carpet One San Francisco. The crash has been on South 101 right before North San Pedro, blocking one of the middle lanes. Traffic is now stop and go. This has uh, become really solid from beyond Highway 37 all the way down. Once you clear the Civic Center, you're good to go all the way to the Golden Gate Bridge. Backup's getting longer at the Richmond San Rafael Bridge. Nothing wrong here. No stalls or accidents, but we're backed up pretty solidly here from Harbor Way out to the Toll Plaza. Let's take another look at Hayward. This has been a trouble area on the northbound side. Two crashes, one right after another, have now cleared to the side. One was at Winton, the other one behind it at Highway 92. That's why the slow traffic coming up from, say, Whipple. We're also looking at traffic trying to get to the Benicia Bridge. It's been hampered by an earlier crash that's just taking forever to completely clear because the big rig wound up in a ditch south 680 south of Lake Herman. That's why the big delays here about a three mile uh, wait of stop and go traffic. There's no point in crying over a spilled milk or soda or even spaghetti sauce for that matter, especially when you can take advantage of the Don't Stress the Mess flooring and home sale right now at Floorcraft Carpet One San Francisco. Don't stress the mess. Visit FloorcraftHome.com. That's FloorcraftHome.com. Your next update, 758 on the traffic leader, KCBS. Sunny, breezy, cool today. Highs from the mid-50s to low 60s here tonight. Lows back down in the mid-30s to 40s. Slight chance of rain moving in tomorrow evening, especially after midnight. Otherwise, we'll see highs in the 60s tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on All News 1069 and AM 740 KCBS. KCBS News Time 751. San Francisco DA Jessica Boudin and his counterpart in LA are accusing a San Diego based law firm of going after California businesses using fraudulent disability rights suits. Now, those suits are often settled for small businesses like a family-run restaurant, defending those cases in court would cost much more. For more, we're joined live on the KCBS Ring Central Newsline by our insider, Phil Matier. So, Phil, this sounds like a, a good idea as far as trying to go after this uh, law firm. They've been doing this for a while now, but it does come as a uh, lead is facing recall. Yeah, it does. Uh, Chester Bodine is facing a recall. George Gascon in Los Angeles is facing a possible recall over their progressive uh, judicial reform policies uh, that don't favor locking people up for long periods of time. Uh, and one of uh, Chase's most vulnerable areas is among Asian American voters. Uh, they do not have, not happy, according to polls, with his performance. So, yeah, every, you know, announcement like this carries a certain bit of politics and you know this is no exception what he's trying to do is say that look i'm trying to do something for small businesses i don't know you know how far he's going to get he and george gascon are filing civil suits this isn't a criminal action because well what this um, law firm potter handy is doing down in san diego is maybe unethical and unseemly it's largely legal in california 
It's a product of two laws. One is the ADA law, Americans with Disability Act, which is a federal law that was passed in 1990 that said, you know, you've got to have your businesses and workplaces be handicap compliant. If you're not, well, you're violating the law. But they didn't assign an agency to enforce it. Instead, it's up to, you know, disabled people and their attorneys. If they want to sue, they can sue. You can't get money out of the, on the federal lawsuit, but California has a law that allows for you to seek damages. And so what happens is, let's say you're a small restaurant or a small business. Somebody comes by, checks you out, takes a couple of photos, says, oh, your, your entrance isn't uh, uh, handicap accessible. Your chairs don't make, make the right move with the table. Where's the bathroom? Um, and you get a letter and you have a choice. You can either like settle for like say $10,000 or pay up to fifty to $100,000 fighting it. It's, you know, robbing people with a fountain pen in a way. Yeah, well, as you mentioned, though, they're finding people or coaching people to go find these problems, which is not the way the law was intended. No, well, Eric, the intention of the law and the practice of the law are two different things. If you get a rule, you read it anyway. But you're absolutely right. One client, you know, filed 1700 Another one filed 800 The spokesman for the uh, firm, uh, Potter Handy, told the Chronicle that, you know, this is politically motivated. The Gascon and Bodine are in trouble and they're trying to make points and that they haven't broken the law. Well, the law is how you read it, and in this case, you read it and then you pay. Our insider film and share will be back with Patty and Chris this afternoon at 5.50. 7.55, the keys to the air for Money Watch with Wendy Gillette. Americans are hitting the brakes on buying used cars. CarMax reports the number of used cars sold last quarter and stores open up in 13 months dropped 6.5% compared to a year ago. Prices are also soaring up 40% or more than $8,000 compared to a year ago. CarMax points to declining consumer confidence and affordability to the drop in sales. Delinquencies on home mortgages keep declining. In January, the rate was 3.3% according to CoreLogic, down from 5.6% last January. A strong job market and rising home prices have helped push the rate down for 10 straight months. The Labor Department's report that shows inflation increased to 8.5% in March compared to a year ago is making headlines, but investors like the news that core inflation slowed to 0.3%. On Wall Street, the markets are up, the Dow up 173, the Nasdaq up 156, S&P up 43. Very few things are impossible. I have something that's impossible. Okay, tell it. Having a big event and not creating a pile of junk. Okay, but it's easily fixable. Oh, I get it. All I have to do is point. All you have to do is point. Junk from a party or celebration or holiday. Junk from moving in or from moving out of a new place. To make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. Moments like making my kids my famous meatballs mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibram. Albocyclic. Ibrand's 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor. It's for postmenopausal women or for men with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrand and visit Ibrand's.com. Ibrand's may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrand's may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrand, Tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Oh, hi, Sally. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. What's that? Refi? Well, yeah, I think so. Tom, Sally's asking if you ever refied the house. Yep, with First NorCal Credit Union. Oh, yeah, Sally, we sure did. We refied. Tom, Sally wants to know if we got a low fixed rate. Yep, with First NorCal Credit Union. Oh, yeah, Sally, we sure did. We got a nice low rate. Tom, what about points? Did we pay points? Nope. First NorCal doesn't charge points. Hey, Sally, yeah, we didn't pay any points on that loan. Yeah, no points. 
Tom. Sally's wondering where we got that low fixed rate, no points loan. Tom? Sally, that low fixed rate, no points home loan is from First NorCal Credit Union. You can apply online at firstnorcalcu.org. Yep, low fixed rate and no points. 758 at King CBS. Simpson, your local Honda dealer's traffic center. Where to? Well, it looks like they are making some progress on this traffic uh, collision in Marin. This is South 101 right before North San Pedro. The third from left lane had been blocked, but it looks like traffic through Terra Linda is starting to filter through a little more efficiently. However, the backup is really solid out of northern Nevada. So South 101, brake lights on at Roland Boulevard. By the time you get into Marinwood, it starts to loosen up heading down to the Civic Center. We've also had some slow traffic in San Francisco. The crash is off to the shoulder and has been for quite some time. It's northbound on 101 at Cedar Chavez, but a slow pattern as you come to the Bayview District, crossing the Alamany Interchange up to Cedar Chavez. Bay Bridge ramp is east of the MacArthur Interchange, especially for 580 and 880. That ramp from 880 really congested this morning. Also crash off to the side, West 80 at Gilman Street in Berkeley. So that's got traffic on the East Shore Freeway. Basically slow and go all the way back from Hercules. Your next update, 808 on the traffic leader, KCBS. Sunny, breezy, and cool today with highs from the mid-50s to low 60s. Clear tonight, lows back down in the mid-30s and 40s. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on KCBS. Where it's Tuesday, April 12, 2022. Coming up on KCBS. This is Matt Bigler. Bay Area Police Chiefs applaud President Biden's crackdown on ghost guns. This is a tremendous death toll. I'm Jennifer Hodges. A kidnapping arrest and why San Jose police believe there may be additional victims. And at least five people are shot and injured at a New York City subway station. Good morning. I'm Holly Kwan. I'm Eric Thomas. CBS News covers your world next. When you need to know, KCBS AM, KFRC FM, and HD1, San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose, and Odyssey Station. It's 8 o'clock. This is CBS News on the Hour, your home for original reporting. I'm Matt Piper in Brooklyn, New York, where a manhunt is underway after multiple people were shot inside more than one subway station. It happened during the morning rush when kids were heading to school and commuters were lining the station. I'm just worried about the people who got hurt. I feel for their family. A possible smoke device was also used during the shootings. Very busy subway lines here in New York City are now suspended as police search for who's behind the attacks. The FBI says it is assisting the NYPD, and CBS News has learned the Attorney General Merrick Garland has also been briefed. Police say the man behind this was wearing a gas mask and an orange construction vest. I'm Matt Piper in Brooklyn, New York. Now with more CBS News, here's Deborah Rodriguez. Any shopper knows food prices are soaring. Everything's up, chicken's up, beef's up, bread's up. They're all, everything's more expensive. Throw in oil and gas prices and the Labor Department says the consumer price index climbed eight and a half percent over the past year to its highest level in 40 years. CBS News business analyst Jill Flesinger. Even after removing food and energy, which are volatile, the core index was up six and a half percent from a year ago. That's the highest since August of 1982. The president hopes to keep gas prices stable over the next several months. CBS is Anne Marie Green. President Biden will announce today that the EPA is going to allow the sale of gas that uses a 15% ethanol blend to be sold during the busy summer travel season. Now that fuel is usually banned in the summer because of air quality concerns. Ukrainian prosecutors are expanding their war crimes investigations beyond Bucha to additional suburbs outside Kiev. More women are coming forward to say they were raped by Russian soldiers. Katerina and Cheropaka is with a Ukrainian rights group. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Many survivors remain in the situation of life threat. They are staying on the occupied territory. They are cut off from health connection from everything. Oklahoma's Kevin Stitt has become the latest Republican governor to sign a bill into law making it a crime for doctors to perform abortions. Violators can be punished by up to 10 years in prison, the only exception to save the lives of mothers. There's more dangerous weather brewing. Here's CBS's Jim Krasula. The National Weather Services Storm Prediction Center has posted a 
four out of five risk of severe weather, including tornadoes today across much of Iowa. More than 65 million people could be impacted by strong storms today from South Texas to Minnesota and Wisconsin. More severe weather is likely in the same areas tomorrow. This is CBS News. Get CBS News Radio on the Odyssey app. All the audio that matters to you is on Odyssey. News, music, sports, and podcasts. Download the Odyssey app today. 803 at the Bay Area's news station, KCBS. Blue sky over downtown San Francisco right now. Cool temps today and showers back tomorrow. Good morning, I'm Holly Kwan. I'm Eric Thomas. So here's what's happening. Oakland's police chief is applauding President Biden's crackdown on so-called ghost guns. As KCBS's Matt Bigler reports live for us, these untraceable firearms are part of the recent rise in gun violence in Oakland. Matt? Yeah, Eric, President Biden announced yesterday it is now illegal for businesses to produce personally manufactured firearms, ghost guns, without a serial number. And new law, the new law makes it illegal for gun dealers to sell those gun kits without a background check. This is a tremendous death toll. Oakland Police Chief Laron Armstrong taking to Twitter to praise the federal ghost gun crackdown. Earlier this year, the chief told me that police need help from residents to get these weapons off the streets. Community members uh, that see people that are selling guns, that see people that are armed in our community to try to give us a call before they commit a crime so that we can address and hopefully recover that firearm. Oakland has suffered four gun deaths in as many days, including the killing of a 15-year-old girl on Sunday. We are learning also about the uh, last Thursday shooting of a security guard at a top shed homeless encampment on Mandela Parkway. Operation Dignity, which runs that site, expressed, quote, deep sorrow for the tragic and senseless killing and says grief counselors are now helping residents and staff. So far, no arrests have been made in any of those recent deadly shootings. Live in the East Bay, Matt Bigler, KCBS. Thanks, Matt. More questions after that massive fire destroyed a South San Jose Home Depot. KCBS reached out to the San Jose Fire Department while the fire was still smoldering to find out why the store's sprinkler system didn't work to suppress the fire before it got out of control. And at the time, fire officials said they were investigating. Meanwhile, the Mercury News reports firsthand accounts from customers and employees who were there when the fire broke out in the store's lumber section indicate that the store's alarm system did not sound. Others said they didn't see any sign of the sprinkler system going off. The fire department has not confirmed nor denied those reports. For its part, Home Depot has referred all questions to the fire department. San Jose Fire spokesperson tells the Merck officials are talking to the alarm company as well as to witnesses who were on the scene. As KCBS previously reported, a 33-year-old man is in police custody in San Jose being charged with felony kidnapping to commit a sexual offense. Now, as KCBS's Jennifer Hodges reports live, San Jose police are reaching out to the public looking for more potential victims. Very disturbing, Jennifer. Well, that's right, Eric. That's because of the nature of the crime. 33-year-old Ivan Palalia allegedly followed two obviously intoxicated girls when they left a downtown club in San Jose trying to kidnap one five miles away. I think the most important thing we want to get out of this case is that there's a likelihood there may be additional victims. Officer Stephen Aponte is with San Jose Police. Palalia told police he'd given drunk girls rides home for money in the past and that raised a huge red flag. There's a likelihood that he's done this before. So really, we're, we're putting this out there today because we want folks to take a look at his picture, look at the circumstances and uh, the way that it was committed. And if that rings a bell, then if that seems similar, or perhaps there are other victims or survivors who have had the same experience with this individual, we want them to come forward. The victims can remain anonymous when they call the San Jose Police tip line at 408-947-STOP. Reporting live, Jennifer Hodges, KCBS. Thanks, Jennifer. An effort to bring ranked choice voting to San Jose has failed before it even got off the ground. A ranked choice voting system lets voters select their chosen candidates in order. Supporters say it promotes diversity and saves money by eliminating runoff. But opponents contend it helps candidates game the system, that it can be confusing, and may further disenfranchise seniors and people of color. Other cities in the Bay Area, including San Francisco, have ranked choice voting, and New York City recently adopted it. San Jose has decided not to opt in, at least for now. Wildfire damage cases involving PGE. 
KCBS Outdoor Supply Hardware sponsors this look at your drive. We check in with Kim Wonderly in your local Honda dealer's traffic center. And a couple new problems coming in. So on the northbound side of 680 coming up toward Monument Boulevard, Pleasant Hill area heading toward 242. Just getting word of a crash here. CHP is on the way. We're looking at the southbound side, the commute direction. Not bad, actually, this morning. Southbound 680. Uh, it's slow coming off of 242 on the 680, but it's not the solid backup all the way into Walnut Creek that we're normally seeing. So that looks a little better. Our is still recovering from a much earlier crash that was in the Caldecott Tunnel. So we are still seeing some brake lights as you make your way past, uh, say, Akalani out to about Camino Pablo. Then things loosen up considerably from that point. Looking at Marin County, this is still a real slog through Nevada. The crash that was South 101 down by the Civic Center appears to be off to the shoulder, but the really heavy traffic is from Roland Boulevard down to about the Miller Creek Marinwood turnoff, and then it stays slow into Terra Linda this morning. New crash coming in, and there had been one there earlier, too, off the Katati grade into Petaluma. This one's South 101 before you get to Petaluma Boulevard North, although CHP is saying it's off to the shoulder. I'm still seeing some slow traffic here. And South Bay has actually been doing pretty well. It's the standard issue slowdowns through most of San Jose. We do have word of a stall, though, in Morgan Hill, North 101, right before you get to Pennant. Uh, that stall is blocking the middle lane. That's why we see with the Chilton Auto Body Collision Cam slow traffic coming out of San Martin. Your next update, 818 on the Traffic Leader, KCBS. It's going to be a bit breezy, but not anything near uh, like it was yesterday. Mostly sunny as well and cool with highs from the mid-50s to low 60s today. Tonight, mostly clear with lows getting back down into the mid-30s and 40s. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, highs in the 60s. But uh, after midnight, there's a chance of rain moving back into the Bay Area. Traffic and weather together on the 8s on All News 1069 and AM 740, KCBS. Stop by Outdoor Supply Hardware and take care of all your project needs. Get the job done right with the largest selection of Midwest fasteners and hardware in Northern California. Online at Osh.com or in person at any of our 14 convenient Osh locations near you. Outdoor Supply Hardware. Neighbors helping neighbors. If you're a small business, there are lots of choices when it comes to your internet and technology needs. But when you choose Comcast Business Internet, you choose the largest, fastest, reliable network. You choose advanced security for total peace of mind. And you choose fiber solutions with speeds up to 10 gigs available to more small businesses than any other provider. That's virtually everywhere we serve. The choice is clear. Get unbeatable business solutions from the most innovative company. Comcast Business. Power and possibilities. Get started with Internet and Voice for $49.99 a month for 24 months with a two-year price guarantee. And ask how to get up to a $650 prepaid card with a qualifying bundle. Call or go online today to learn more. Offer ends 6 Restrictions apply. New Comcast Business 35 megabits per second internet and one voice line customers only. Early termination fee applies. Most innovative based on American Business 2021 Gold CD Awards. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. And subject to change. Real estate investors, one of the best ways to protect your wealth and save thousands of dollars in taxes is to use a 1031 exchange when selling your investment property. We've created a fun and rewarding way to reinvest your 1031 exchange equity in today's market. Hi, I'm Greg Hughes with Hughes Private Capital, and we are a nationwide real estate investment company that specializes in vacation homes for 1031 exchange investments. We buy high-end luxury homes and transform them into vacation homes, and the best part is these homes don't cost you money, they make you. More and more people are attracted to vacationing in gorgeous homes and beautiful places, making the vacation rental market one of the most profitable real estate choices available today. If you're interested in owning your own vacation home or just want to be an investor in this growing market, you can join our family of investors today by going to earnwithavacationhome.com. That's earnwithavacationhome.com. Or call us at 888-400-2424. That's 888-400-2424. KCBS News Time 812 with more news. Here's Eric. It took a lot of time and effort for Sonoma County to reach a settlement with PG&E for the 2019 Kincaid Fire. The deal directs millions of dollars to local initiatives and requires five years of oversight of PG&E's fire safety protocols in Sonoma County. 
KTBS's Margie Schaefer reports from Santa Rosa. The DA says she could have used some help from the state government. Reaching the $20-plus million settlement with PG&E was resource-intensive, says Sonoma County District Attorney Jill Ravitch, who dedicated three senior attorneys and an investigator to work the case for the last year and not focus on other also important issues. The Attorney General has a lot more resources. Uh, I have to ask why the Attorney General isn't stepping into this type of complex litigation and leaving it to smaller counties like us or up in the Dixie Fire, for that matter. And she says the state legislature can help out, too, so corporations can't throw up their hands. Oh, no, we didn't intend to do anything wrong. It was some linemen over there. So having strict liability in place, having probation in place, having elevated fines in place, these are some of the tools that might help. While PG&E reached settlements with six California counties, it still faces numerous civil claims. In Santa Rosa, Margie Schaefer, KCBS. KCBS News Time 813. This portion of the news sponsored by Shane Company. Cam Newton in trouble again. Here's Ted, uh, Ted Ramey. We'll check in in two minutes. Mother's Day is Sunday, May 8th. And there are so many reasons to give a gift of fine jewelry from Shane Company. Dear Mom, what can I say? You're amazing. From being team mom at my Little League games to putting up with me when I was a wild teenager. You taught me so much. And I'm forever grateful. Happy Mother's Day. A gift of fine jewelry is truly special. It's something mom will treasure forever. Shane Company has gifts in every price range, crafted with attention and care. Stunning diamond jewelry, classic styles with sapphires, beautiful cultured pearls. Get her something stylish and colorful, like huggy earrings with vibrant gemstones. Available in either London blue topaz, red garnet, or amethyst. Or surprise her with an exquisite butterfly necklace. The wings are accented with blue sapphires. Visit us for a meaningful Mother's Day gift. Tied with a burgundy bow and ready to give. Now you have a friend in the jewelry business. Shane Company and Shaneco.com. Hey, listen, guys. It's time we had an open conversation about ED. Low T and other not-so-fun things to talk about that cause us unnecessary suffering. This isn't just an old guy's problem. Men from all over the Bay Area have solved their ED and low T problems thanks to Prime Male Medical. Did you know you can get a PSA, a testosterone test, ultrasound, and a full year of visits for just $99? Go to primemalemedical.com or call 415-761-4037. That's 415-761-4037. We're the one who protects the flock, and that requires an eye for detail. Because when safety and well-being are on the line, it's the details that can save lives. Even when no one else is watching, you see everything. Granger gets you, and we're here for you. And all the ones who get it done with a wide range of safety products and solutions. Plus board-certified safety consultants here to answer your questions. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. At CDW, we get the importance of clear communication. I was on a conference call, and I think my boss asked me to send her roasted beets in a can. Talk to the experts at CDW. Using poly headsets and cameras, they'll orchestrate a collaboration solution to let you hear and see clearly on any device, any meeting platform. Huh. Looks like she asked me to send her the report sheet when I can. You like beets? Mm, no. IT orchestration by CDW. People who get it. Learn more at cdw.com slash poly. Coming up on KCBS, you think you work too much? So does one state lawmaker pushing for a four-day work week. KCBS News Time 816. Ben Ramey is the Bay Area Chevy dealer sports desk. Uh, not necessarily working too much, possibly staying too much for Cam Newton. Oh, man, this one is a doozy. And we have to give context to here because this isn't the first time that uh, Cam Newton is stepped in this specific type of trouble. Back in 2017, he was doing usual ma media availability. Uh, a woman asked him about the routes being one of a run by his wide receivers, and uh, this is when he first got in trouble. I'll, I'll play the exchange for you. The physicality of his routes and, and making, getting those extra yards. Does that give you a little bit of an enjoyment to see him kind of trusting people out there? It's funny to hear a female talk about routes. Like, Funny. Yeah, the uh, backlash was immediate and severe at that point, and so Cam obviously apologized. And I, own, I, I take ownership to everything that comes with that. And what I did was extremely unacceptable to the daughters, the sisters, and the women all around the world. I 
sincerely apologize and hope that you can find the kindness in your heart. Okay, so that was five years ago. Cam back at it this morning making some rather misogynistic remarks on the Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast. A woman for me is handling your own, but knowing how to cater to a man's needs, right? And I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of, like, I'm a boss, like, I'm a this, I'm a dad, no, baby, like, but you can't cook. Yeah, the uh, backlash this time around, many people obviously citing what happened before. And considering Cam was not good at all at a quarterback last year, starting five games and losing all five games that he started, it's highly unlikely that he's going to be a hot commodity on the quarterback free agent market uh, entering the next NFL season. At the sports desk, Ted Ramey, KCBS. 818 at KCBS. Got to check back with Kim Wendelin in your local Honda dealer's traffic center. Yeah, it's mostly remnants of earlier problems that have been slowing the commute in various areas. Holly, this report brought to you by Cars for Kids. Southbound 101 through Marin County, way tougher than usual, especially the northern part of Nevada. Approaching Roland Boulevard, that's brake lights. It's pretty solid till you get down to the Miller Creek turnoff. Then it starts to break up. You're still under the speed limit, though, uh, till you pass the crash site. It looks like there may still be some wreckage off to the right shoulder right before North San Pedro. Looking at westbound Interstate 80, on again, off again, slowing, coming down through Pinole. There had been a crash near Dillman, but that has been cleared to the off-ramp long ago, but we haven't quite recovered as far as the commute goes. Baybridge backup, it is to the MacArthur Interchange. Still very slow through the Hayward Corridor. It looks better than it had, though. There have been two crashes on the northbound side of 880, up around 92 in Winton. Those are long gone, but traffic still slow. And what we're seeing off the San Mateo Bridge, very heavy traffic from uh, the approach to the high-rise section. There had been some garbage out there reported earlier, and it stays slow through Foster City onto 101. Coming on to southbound 101, there was word of a car fire right near 92, and there may still be some activity around Hillsdale clearing that because southbound traffic, very slow from Millbrae all the way down to that point, and so is the ramp, or just trying to get to the ramp from the eastbound 92 on to south 101. Expect delays here. Cars for kids, no more stressing over your old vehicle. Donate it today, and you can get it picked up tomorrow. It's the easiest service out there. Donate online at carsforkids.org. That's cars with a K. Donate driving cars for kids. Donate your car today. Your next update's at 828 on the traffic leader, KCBS. Mantini Sleep World six-day weather forecast. Get big savings on your like mattresses at Mantini Sleep World, and they will pay the sales tax. Here's Darren Peck. We are not going to see a repeat of Monday's winds, those gusts at 50 miles an hour at times. It'll be a bit breezy today, but not like that. A 20 to 25 mile an hour gust through the afternoon, picking up along the water today. Inland, you don't really notice a whole lot at all although a 10 to 15 mile an hour breeze. We warm up a little too. It'll be in the upper 50s in the bay, low 60s if you're inland. That covers today. Tomorrow we're gonna see rain, but not till very late in the evening. In fact, it's really Thursday morning. That's when we get the rain from this system. If we notice any showers Wednesday night, there'll be uh, few and far between in the North Bay. But widespread light rain Thursday morning, about another tenth to two tenths of an inch of rain. We get another system just like that Friday night into Saturday morning, another tenth to two tenths of an inch of rain there. Then we'll clear it out by Sunday. Easter Sunday will be sunny and warmer. Back into the low 70s inland, upper 60s in the Bay. I'm meteorologist Darren Peck with your KPIX 5 KCBS forecast. Traffic and weather together on the 8th every 10 minutes on All News 1069 and AM 740 KCBS. KCBS News Time 821. A bill on its way through the state legislature would change how a work week is defined from 40 hours to 32. For more, we're joined on the KCBS Ring Central Newsline by John Sullivan management expert and professor emeritus at San Francisco State. Professor, thanks very much for the time. There's been a lot of talk of work-life balance, people quitting their jobs. Do you see this as making that a little bit easier, people wanting to stay in the workforce? Well, yes. It'll obviously cut down one day of commit time or work time, but it'll also foster better work-life balance for the employees and
you're keeping up with the rest of, of your team might be different. What about those studies uh, during the height of the pandemic that said productivity was actually higher on people who work four days or work from home, that sort of thing? Well, there's certainly cases like that. <clears throat> but it's also true that people that worked at home or remotely put in more hours. So if the goal is work-life balance, it didn't, didn't work in that sense. And of course, everyone had a sense of urgency. The smaller firms where you can see you're having an impact, everyone's going to contribute. But a larger firm, and you don't see the impact of not working hard, it, it could be a problem. The union represented workers would be exempt, so how would this change fit in with the push for gaining union traction in the workplace? Well, it's not part of the union bargaining for a, re for a reason because uh, unions want that power and want that to be able to show that they can change working conditions. And also, as it's written now, it only applies to 32 hour work weeks. Well, that's if you're non exempt. You, it wouldn't affect you because you don't get paid overtime anyway. And so many workers in the Bay Area are uh, exempt that it really wouldn't impact them uh, because you know, it only affects it when you're paid hourly. Um, supporters of this point to other countries where they say, look, it's working fine in Europe, uh, different countries. What do you see to that? Well, I would say they need to look closer. It failed in France. It's been true in France for a long time, and they had to eliminate it because, again, this is global competitiveness. It's also true that if you look at research by Google, that workers coming to work physically interacting cause more collaboration, and that causes innovation. So if you're in a McDonald's, you don't need to innovate. But if you're at Apple, you do. So you will see companies like Apple and Google resisting this. They want their workers to physically come in, interact, say, hey, what are you working on, Stan? And that causes innovation, and that's what we're known for. So in Iowa, it's probably a, a good thing for the worker. But here, if your firm's not innovating, whether you're getting more time off or not, you're not going to have a job. So in a highly competitive global world, it's not true that this has been successful across the world. Professor, thanks very much for the perspective. John Sullivan, management expert and professor emeritus at San Francisco State. 825 at ECBS, the money now from Steve Potus. We're not only paying higher prices with the consumer price index of 8.5% last month from a year earlier, but we're also paying more on more stuff. A deeper analysis shows that 76% of the goods and services measured by the government saw gains of at least 4% from a year earlier. That's up from two-thirds in February and less than 5% at the end of 2019. Meanwhile, online inflation remains at a record high. According to data compiled by Adobe, online prices for everything from groceries to clothes and pet products rose 3.6% last month from a year earlier, matching February's record. And inflation has small business operators nervous. That's reflected in a measure of small business optimism falling for a third month in a row to one of the lowest levels of the pandemic. But Wall Street betting inflation may be peaking, so the Dow is ahead 198, NASDAQ up 125, and the S&P is gaining 30 points. Steve Potus, Bloomberg Business for KCBS. Did you know that with Xfinity Internet, you get fast, reliable speeds to fit your needs and budget? Even Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig to power all of your devices. Now just imagine, everyone at home can connect at the same time. Best of all, you can save up to $400 a year on your wireless bill when you add Xfinity Mobile. Now that's a hit. Can your internet do that? Get gig speed internet now for just $49.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract when you also get Xfinity Mobile. So go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today to learn more. Requires paperless billing and auto pay, and 63022. Restrictions apply. New gigabit internet customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra, and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Give Wi-Fi requires X5 gateway. Actual speeds vary. Compare pricing of top carriers. Xfinity Internet required. April 15th is right around the corner, and if it's been a few years since you filed your last tax return, or you still owe taxes you cannot afford to pay, valuable legal rights are at stake, and now is the time to act. I'm tax attorney Robert Goldstein, and my firm's legal practice is dedicated to helping individuals
individual and small business taxpayers resolve their tax problems. We specialize in preparing past due returns, even if you have no records, offers and compromise, audits, offshore amnesty disclosure, and bankruptcy for taxes and other debts. With over 22 years in practice, we offer our clients knowledgeable and aggressive representation. The Law Offices of Robert Goldstein is a local firm with offices throughout the Bay Area, and we always offer a free consultation. If you want to resolve your back tax issues this tax season, give us a call toll-free 1-888-TAX-EXIT. That's 888-T-A-X-E-X-I-T. 888-TAX-EXIT and make us your last stop. Are you looking to renovate your kitchen or bathroom? I'm Mike Holmes here with Ivan from AGM Renovation. Thanks, Mike. Too often homeowners hired the wrong contractor. Ivan, I see this all the time. Delays, shortcuts, hidden fees, nightmares. At AGM, we use the top trades and each product is finished on time, on budget, backed by a five-year warranty. That's why AGM are the only kitchen and bathroom renovation specialist I recommend. Call now and get $3,000 off. At 828, we got to check traffic with Kim. She's in your local Honda dealer's traffic center. Well, things are settling down incident-wise, but we're still stuck with very slow traffic, worse than usual for Marin because of an earlier crash that was right near the Civic Center. You may still see this off to the side, but no longer blocks lanes. South 101, though, from DeLong, northern Nevada, that stretch from DeLong down to Miller Creek is really tough. Then it starts to break up. We're still sluggish, though, down to the Civic Center where the crash had been. Richmond San Rafael Bridge. The backup, not as bad as it was. Chilton Auto Body Collision Cam sees the slow traffic just from the Canal Boulevard uh, turn off as you make your way up to the toll plaza. The rest of the way to Marin, it looks fine. We are looking at some slow traffic that's developing southbound 680 now coming out of the Walnut Creek Interchange. On again, off again, sluggish traffic, we'll call it most of the way down to Alamo. And the San Mateo Bridge, way slower than usual. There was garbage on the span earlier, just heavy traffic all the way across to the Foster City side. Your next update, 838 on the traffic leader, KCBS. Mostly sunny, breezy, cool today. Highs from the mid-50s to the low 60s. Lows in the 30s and 40s tonight. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on KCBS. If your office is reopening, Staples has you covered. Back to the office. Back to in-person meetings. Staples has you covered. In the office one day, home the next. I need to be able to work from anywhere. Staples has you covered with everything you need for everywhere you work. Right now, save $15 when you spend $75 on select items. Everything you need for the office, home, anywhere. Staples, the working and learning store. Ends 416, in-store only. Coupon required, one per customer. See store or staplesconnect.com for exclusions and details. Celebrate spring at Banana Republic Factory with 50 to 70% off everything. Discover vibrant dresses, modern suits, and more from $24.99. Find you in your store or shop online only at Banana Republic Factory. News that matters to you around the bay, around the world, around the clock. All news, 106.9 and AM 740, KCBS. Tuesday, April 12th, 2022, coming up on KCBS. Exploring the crackdowns on ghost guns already underway here in the Bay Area. Embracing for weekend BART track closures between two East Bay stations throughout the summer. And I'm least, Holly Kwan. I'm Eric Thomas. CBS News special report, terror inside a subway station in New York City. Coming up the stairs, I saw maybe a 16-year-old that was shot in the knee. You can clearly see the bullet. Fire officials say as many as 13 people were injured, many of them shot on a station platform in Brooklyn during the morning rush hour. Images show fellow commuters tending to bleeding passengers. Correspondent Matt Piper is in the Sunset Park neighborhood. The crime scene here in this section of Brooklyn is huge. It's believed that it stretches at least two subway stations. CBS News has also learned that some type of gas was also used. And police say the person behind this, a man who was wearing a gas mask, is still on the run and has not yet been found. A law enforcement source also tells CBS News officials are investigating what appears to have been a planned attack. No known motive yet. His press secretary says Mayor Eric Adams has been briefed on the situation. He's been quarantining with COVID. CBS News Special Report. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. KCBS News Time 832 with more news. Here's Eric. A missing Mill Valley hiker has been found dead in her car in Kentfield. Marin uh, Sheriff's Office this morning says the body found last night is that of 62-year-old 
Jennifer Aronson, who was reported missing by family members late Sunday night. Her body was found inside her parked car on South Ridgewood Road in Kentfield. Authorities say there's no obvious signs of traumatic injury or foul play or a vehicle collision. As we've been reporting, the White House is pushing to limit the use of so-called ghost guns. But as KCBS's Keith Manconi tells us, in the Bay Area, that crackdown is already underway. Untraceable and easy to assemble, ghost guns have been turning up at a growing number of Bay Area crime scenes, causing alarm among local law enforcement, as well as bans from both San Francisco and Oakland. Meantime, in San Jose, the city's police department is also taking on the issue. Today, I'm announcing a new program called Cash for Ghost Guns. Police Chief Anthony Mata at a recent press conference announcing that SJPD will be refocusing its future gun buyback efforts specifically on ghost guns. Department spokesperson Steve Aponte explains further. Eliminating these guns and taking them off the streets from people who are not supposed to be possessing them is of the utmost importance. Why, he says, his agency is looking forward to seeing how gun control measures targeting ghost guns will take shape. We can work with uh, the federal government and utilize the policy that they're creating to help strengthen our bonds with the community to help get these guns off the streets. We're going to be more than happy to do that. Keith Manconi, KCBS. The recent mass shooting in Sacramento is the latest major blow to a city rattled in recent years by violence, protests, and the pandemic. For years, downtown Sacramento has been trying to redefine itself. It's added a new arena for NBA games and concerts and renovated its convention center. Police say the shooting this month had left six people dead just blocks from the state capitol.